Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're doing a block called Air Castle. And I know I've done this one before too. I did it in the Christmas quilt along two years ago. But this one's going to be a 9 inch block whereas that one was like 18 inches. So we're going to do it again. And this time we're going to do it with Valentine's Day fabrics because I'm going to do a sample sampler table runner. So you're going to need fabric A. Uh, one four and a half inch square and two four inch squares fabric B is the same thing one four and a quarter inch I'm sorry that's four and a quarter I believe I said half four and a quarter four and a quarter one of each and two four inch out of each one fabric fabric C is um, these are wrong fabric C is four two inch squares and two four inch squares and D is one three and a half inch square. So first we are going to make half square triangles out of, I've already done one just like I did last time. We're going to take our four inch squares, our B, which is my pink and my, my black with hearts. And I'm going to turn it into half square triangles just like I did before. I'm going to lay this here, cut corner to corner. And again, these are pretty small. I am not pinning. I'm just going to slice it down there. And I'm going to go just sew it right up. comfortable with it by all means pin it I am a pinner but these are pretty small pieces I'm actually gonna leave that there for now we're gonna come back over here and we are going to start our our middle middle piece on the block so we're gonna take the four two inch squares and we're gonna do opposites here and I'm not gonna I'm gonna pin this but I'm not going to draw a line because I don't think it would show up. And I have my diagonal seam tape. But if you wanted to, well, I'll draw this one so you can see what I mean. I would draw a line here, corner to corner, and that's what I would sew on. But I'm not going to draw it on all of them because, again, it's pretty small. I have my diagonal seam tape on there on my sewing machine. I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to pin opposite corners. And I am going to go sew them up. And then I'll pull the others off and trim it down. So we'll just line up the corner there. And I will put a couple, just enough to get it started. And then I'll line up my point down here with my red line on my diagonal seam tape. Now I am going to need to do this. I guess I should have done this one first and it would have helped me not have to do that, but whatever. Cut these apart and toss them over there. Then I'll sew the other side. And this one has the, the line on it drawn, but honestly I'm following the diagonal seam tape anyway. So we're gonna Get that off of there and we'll go do all our work on these so first let's get our pressing mat that's not first first I'm going to trim these off just a quarter inch from the stitch line both of them Now I'm going to iron these open towards the black part, just because it's darker. And then we'll iron these open. Alright, we'll let that set for a minute and we're going to trim this down. 
to three and a half inches. So we'll line up the diagonal. The one with the one on it. As close to this edge as possible with still trimming a little off just so we can straighten it up. Oh, that slid on me. It'll be all right though, I promise. Flip it around and we'll line up the three and a half and the diagonal again. There it is. One more to go. No, whatever. Again, we'll line up the diagonal as close to the edge there as we can get while we're still trimming some off. Flip it around. The diagonal again and the three and a half inch point down here and then our lines should just line right up same spot all right those are done let me move that out of the way now we'll do this one just fold these over Again, we are just going to pin it, but draw a line if you need to. I'm actually going to pin it on both sides, though. It did move a little on me on that other one, and I don't want it to. Again, here. Pin. And on this one. Now we'll go sew this up. Just gonna flip it around, it'll be just fine. Pull that out, cut this off. That's one there well enough. I'm gonna pull these pins out. Now, again, we're just going to trim it off a quarter inch from the stitch line. These are still big enough that I'll probably save them for this the crumb quilt because you might need a little piece. It is called crumb quilting after all. All right, let's move those. All right, iron it open. It is a little wonky. I can see that. I don't know what we did. Let's eat. Square it up though. There's my ones. So it is to be three and a half. So half of three and a half is one and three quarters. So we want to put the middle right there. That's one and three quarters down both our points and we're going to trim see it's not going to line up hmm wonder what I did oh let me cut that Give me a minute. I'm going to pause this and go cut new pieces, I think, or see if I can. No, we'll just, we'll just go from here. I'm just going to square it up and it'll be what it'll be. If it comes out wonky, it comes out wonky. It's mine anyway. What do I care? It is going to come out really small though. Right there is what I'm worried about, but we're gonna try it anyway, you know, cause, well, we are. All 
Okay. Next, we are going to do, I don't know what this piece is called, but it's our four extras, sides, whatever. We're going to cut these, excuse me, are both of our four and a quarter inch blocks, and we're going to cut them into fours across. What is he doing to me? That one's right, then this one is not. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and go cut another white one. It was cut wrong. Okay, I cut another white correctly this time. It's okay, don't tell him he cut it wrong. So we're gonna cut this in half both ways diagonally. This one. And this way. Now, we're going to lay them out with the white on this side. So they're all going to be like that. How did I just do that? Oh my. Give me a minute. How did we do it? Like this. That's how I did it. So actually, I'm not going to pull them apart. I'm just going to sew this side on all of them. Just like that. Let them all lay down. Just like that, I'm gonna make sure they all go down the same way. And now I'm gonna sew this side of all of them. So we're just gonna head on over to the sewing machine and do that. how they're laying I'm just flipping them over and bringing them to the sewing machine and I hope they're right and I do believe the middle piece on there will be just fine because I'm gonna try to do decorative stitching down it anyway so I really did when it was paused I almost cut more pieces but also I don't want to I want to use exactly what I got. All right. Cut them loose. And head back over. These I will iron up into the pink. Not that it matters, they're both pretty light colors. But again, I'm gonna do decorative stitching probably in, I don't know, depends. I might do over the whole blocks. I might do them all differently and I'm gonna alternate probably between pink, red, and white thread. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so there are those. Now we're going to cut these two four inch white squares in half diagonally. And then we'll sew them together. And then we'll trim them down to our three and a half inches. Just line up corner to corner. And now I am going to just, I'm going to do one here with you, but then I'm just going to do them as we go over there. I'm really not even going to do anything. I'm just going to fold it over and I'm going to sew down this side so the seam goes down easier. 
that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to fold it over and it, I could pin it, but again, it's pretty small and I'm confident in that I can hold it steady. So I'm just going to do it like that. I don't like to pin on the bias here because I'm told it can stretch it and anything I can do to avoid that would be ideal. the red thread on the bottom here I don't think it'll be a big deal because like I said I'm doing the decorative stitching but again if I was doing this for like I don't know professionally we'll call it I would maybe use white thread or pink matching thread somewhere along the line but I have a lot of thread I need to use up and well this is for me anyway one and then we'll go iron them open and trim them down and then all of our little pieces are made and we just have to lay it out sew them together we'll iron these to the white because it is the flat side Again, we've made this block before uh, in a lot bigger size. This is 9 inches and the last one came to 18 inches. So I guess it's a variety of it, but if you're interested, you can go back and watch that video. So we're going to line up the, this needs to be three and a half. Three and a half is, um, I'm sorry, one and a quarter, two and a quarter. No, it's not. It's one and three quarters. Did I cut that wrong? I don't know. So we're going to line up our one and three quarters right there on our middle dot. I did say one and a quarter earlier, but you know, obviously that's wrong. We'll trim it off. And then we'll spin it around and now we'll line up the three and a half and the diagonal and that should put the dot in the same place, the th one and three quarters. I'm pretty sure I said one and a quarter earlier. That's not what I meant. You probably figured that out. Again, we'll do this diagonal first, put the one and three quarters on the diagonal and trim it down. Now you'll put the three and a half down here on both sides, line up the diagonal and trim it down. Two more to go. Same process, obviously. The diagonal and the dot. And last one. Spin it around. 
have to trim that again. I can see it's a little over down there. Let's just spin it around and do three and a half again, and this will get that little bit off the top there. Let's get rid of these. Now we'll lay it out. Actually, let me, I totally did do that. Well, I lined up the right thing. I just said the wrong measurement, I guess. So let's lay it out. This is our middle. These are our corners and the hearts are gonna go here. The pink is going out. And then these, the pink is also going up or out or however you want to look at it <coughs> that is the block now again we'll just sew down and down and then uh, we'll come back and iron it open again I'm not pinning it I'm just gonna pull it over because that's what I do with small blocks and I'm hoping the middle one lines up but, you know, it'll work either way. That one may have went crooked on me anyway. This one I'll line up this uh, seam down here as best I can. I'm just going to hold it. Alright, I am going to cut these off and go iron them open and then we'll do the other half. Just so I can assess. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I don't know where my voice went. Just so I can assess where we're at. I'm going to iron to these pink. I'm going to iron them all to the pink one. Because then they'll be opposite. And they will nest together. All right, so these two will go like this. That one didn't go very, well, it's pretty good. It's good enough that I'm not gonna complain. So now we're just gonna do the same thing again. I'm just gonna fold them over and do it just as I'm sewing. I'm not gonna pin them or anything. I'm gonna line up this seam though. If these were bigger, I would absolutely pin them, but it'll be fine. They're not. And last one. head back over and iron it open and again I am ironing to the white and pink part because then they will be opposite and they will they should go very well together. All right. There it is. Fold it down. 
guess that one went a little off when I ironed it, but we're just going to pin it right up. And while we're here, we'll pin at the end, get that seam to go together very well, or as well as we can. And this one. And the beginning. And the reason I'm doing the beginning on this side is because I am just going to fold it up and fold it up and do this one. Again, both the seams. Well, there's a lot of seams, I guess, because back here's one, too. And then this seam. So both the middle ones are going opposite. They line up nicely. And then I'm not going to pin the beginning here because I'm just going to hold it and that's where we're going to get a start. going to spin it around. Oh, I can't do that. I could, but I'm not gonna. Because it's going the opposite way. So trim that off. Trim this thing off. Fold it open. And start again. and iron it open. I'm going to go to the outside of them because that's how it laid. It came out pretty nice. I like it. This is a little, it's a little off. I can see it. You can see it probably. I don't care. It looks great. There it is. Again, it is called Air Castle and it's a nine inch block. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you make it and love it. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day.